Hello everybody, Ghost of Burn. Welcome back. So I did level up. I leveled up my... I, I held like 60,000 runes and I had some in my inventory and then I killed a couple of wolves and we got a level. So I invested in mind. So now I have 30. But let's go see what happens here. Oh yeah, so yeah this is a big boss. And champion of the festival. That's me. Both your deeds will ever be praised in song. Now, the vow will be honored, and my lord brother's soul will return, so that he may be my consort. Oh. So will. We fight Radan? Alright. Again? Actually, Ansbach was talking about it, but I thought that they would use that they use Moke's body for or this to be a vessel for oh oh my god bang bang ouch ouch Maybe I can parry, but he's so big, maybe he's not parryable. Wow, that was quick. Promised Consort Radan. Well, let's give it a couple of tries. We'll see. We'll see. So if this is the last boss, then... Wait for... That's the lion. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah. doing it again okay 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 so timing spacing one two three one two and three. Oh. Okay. Yep, up, 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 up. Let's see. Okay. Wait. Second. Third. He has loads of health. I was two, one, two, quick one. one two. Okay, ah, 
Okay, okay. This is a different combo. Oh, I have no... I have no healing left. One, two... Quick one, yeah. Maybe I need to roll to the other side for that, because he's very quick after the second. Hmm. We'll see. Also, I'm not recognizing the combos, but he's kind of... I should try and parry as well. Maybe it works. Oh, big shield. Oh my. Bad. Oh bad. does it twice. Not always, though. Wait, wait. Don't punish. Tank, tank. Tank. Bad choice. Well, it worked. Kind of. Okay, that didn't work, though. Also didn't work. Second phase. I doubt that he's just tired. Will they be, like, on top of each other? Just like Lori and Lothric? Tarnished one. Aspiring lord of the old order. If you have known sin, if you grieve for this world, then yield the path 
forward to us. Yeah, you also know sin. He has four arms. Just like Rani. And my promised consort, Radar. Okay, what does it mean, promised consort? Oh my god, oh my god, this is cool. <laughs> okay, alright, so. Okay, okay. Whoa, we will do that. Mm -hmm, that would be nice. Well, that was quick pace. And it seems that he does it around Fine. I'll try again then.
Yes. 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 Did it. Okay. That was a tough fight. Oh, that was a tough fight. Uh, I probably need a break. I'm just... Yeah, let's... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's just get this grace. Then I'm gonna take a break and... Ooh. That was that was interesting, but I also would say that I was kind of lucky because in the second phase, I, I mean like I'm pretty consistent in the first phase with the parries, but in the second phase there are some attacks that I just uh, I think I have an idea what to do, but it's really difficult to do it. Also, this was the first time that I saw what he does when he jumps up and do the comet attack, just like Rudan uh, in uh, in the you know what Kalit in Kalit. Uh, this was this was the first time when I saw the the I'm not sure I would say a, the comet. Uh, anyways, let's I'm um, I'm really tired, so I'll be back in a bit. And. We're back. I didn't... So I took my rest, but I don't remember... What the hell? This is Ansbach and Theolier. I don't remember this being here. Maybe... Maybe I can summon them for the fight. But I didn't see any summon signs. Let's see what we get. Theolier's hidden needle. And his set. Let's, let's check it out. Should also probably check the remembrance that we got. The dark trousers of those who wield poison in secret, ever scorned and loathed. Mm hmm. Silver hair is arranged in the same style as Santrina's increasing arcane. Is it increasing arcane because it, is it arranged in the same style? Additionally, countless needles are sewn onto the exterior, apparently for talismanic effect. Yeah, okay, this also increases arcane. Just once, the Olier was granted the sweet repose of velvety sleep. The remainder of his days would be spent attempting to recapture it. Concealed weapon used by the Olier, of a design generally favored by poison builders, for dark and subtle purposes, like Centrina, who blossomed in the deep purple garden, a rich poison is sec secret secreted 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 probably from within, which sends its victim into an eternal sleep. Unique skill sleep evermore. He says the enemy deeply with a poison coated needle that delivers eternal sleep. If the follow-up strike lands upon a foe who is already in a state of slumber or eternal sleep, it will deal significant damage. Interesting. And remembrance of a god and, and a lord. Mm-hmm. Is it also a remembrance of Mikela? Because Lo Radan should be the lord and Mikela should be the god, right? In their childhood, Mikela saw in Radan a lord, his strength and his kindness that stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. Stood in stark contrast with their afflicted selves. Like Mikela and Melenia. And so Mikela made his heartfelt wish that Radan would one day be his king consort. Interesting. Oh, did I tell you that I, uh, that I uh, defeated that last furnace golem that was in the castle watering hole? That one that, that one that we needed to uh, throw a furnace fire pot in his, in his basket. Oh, yeah, I did. A crystal tear formed of blah blah blah. And the, the resulting concoction temporarily increases attack power, but drains HP over time. So this is the tier that we got from that. And it's interesting. Oh, wait. Yeah, so as I was thinking, maybe let's talk about the fight a bit. 
So... Yeah, it was a hell of a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah now I don't need it. But still, I'm glad that my message was appreciated. We'll pick this up. The fight was pretty awesome. I, at, at first, I was like, I was like, what? And then I was like, yeah, I know. At least in the first phase. And then I got in the second phase, I, I was like, what? <laughs> and, and now I'm still like, what? In the second phase. But at least I, I did it. Let's, uh, let's read this. Furious Blade of Hansbach. I never see I've never seen this. Maybe I should have summoned him for some fight. Incantation of Ansbach, pure blood knight, produces a blood flame blade from the side of the hand, then lunges at enemies to cleave through them, charge to increase the number of slashes. Uh, oh, I'm getting a lot of appraisal. Markedly different from the finest sword blade of the dynast. This is an aggressive last resort of negation that gave rise that gave rise to Anzabak's fearsome reputation. Never heard of him though. Obsidian Lamina. Signature weapon of the pure blood knight blah, blah, blah. viciously keen and slender sight made for combat. I can't use it because yeah, because of the arcane requirement. Uh, but it's it has only physical damage. It does do some blood loss buildup. Might have a good moveset, though. The Obsidian Edge rally relies not upon trickery to fulfill its violent purpose. Only well hunt skill is required to rip and rend through foes, sowing blossoms of red upon the battlefield. Unique skill, Dynastic Sickle Blade. A finest evasive skill that creates space to maneuver. Inputs dictate direction of the backstab. Follow up with a strong attack to perform an advancing upward slash. Press strong attack again to bring the weapon back down. Uh, we'll, we'll try that. Boots of Sir Ansbach. Black leather adorned with gold embroidery. Slightly enhances blood oath and dynastic skills. The embroidered, embroidered crest of the pure blood knight. Has now all but faded away. Slightly enhances blood oath. Yeah, yeah. Ansbach understood that keeping his oath to his old master was not an act of logic, nor would it bear any justice, but it was for the very reasons he was unable to let go. The iron mask of Sir Ansbach giving the appearance of a quite wise old bearded man. Yeah, I thought I thought that he had a beard, but it was part of the mask. Interesting. But an old fear lurks beneath, together with the cold, unflinching discipline that once honed his blade, now employed to enhance blood oath and the dynastic, dynastic skills. Let's try that weapon anyways. This will increase... Oh, I have 10 arcane, I need 17. What do I have that would increase arcane? Not this. Yeah. Okay. Mask of confidence. Gives me three points. Violier's mask. Okay, I, I think Violier's mask is alright. And then we can get his and we get to 15 uh, I'll probably have to use the talisman for that that's all right which one though maricas or whatever Radagons. Yeah, that's enough. And let's use that weapon. Where is it? Okay. 
So this just yeah, these are just, oh we have a we have a 360. Okay, interesting. Alright. Okay, let's try that. Right. Okay. Interesting. Might be a good weapon. Hmm, let's go back. So, I did take this weapon also... I was thinking of using this one because why did I do that? Because I noticed when I was fighting uh, Radan that well, my weapon didn't do too much damage. Well, it was an okay damage, but I thought it could do more. And then I tried different weapons, and this frozen needle, which is only plus nine, actually did the same amount of damage as my katana or my bloodhound or or roughly similar damage. Uh, as my bloodhound fang or whatever uh, and we did tick off uh, we did proc um, uh, frost uh, frostbite on him so I guess uh, he's weak to pierce I'd say also there was a there was a message that said scarlet rot and for that reason I was thinking of also using unspray rapier because that can build up Scarlet, Scarlet Rot, and if I would use like a cold infusion, I could tick off both effects. It would be interesting. And maybe also bleed if I used some blood infused weapon. So, yeah, interesting. But I didn't get to try that. Probably will try that when I do some challenge run. Anyways, let's uh, uh, get back our equipment. And we'll, we'll continue. I think we are at the end, probably. I don't need you. Uh, I did use these talismans that uh, improved, uh, like, critical hits and heal on critical hits. Yeah, these. Maybe I should have used different talisman than this one, but it's alright. Anyways, the fight was pretty cool. Wait, I want a different weapon. Let's pick up the katana again. Or bloodhound fang. The fight was cool. I loved it. What is this? Let us go together. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my rune spot. And let's see what can we do. What can we do here? I should have used my runes. But my I hope there is not, not a boss fight. I'm going to be a god. No, you're not. Circlet of Light. Okay, let's check that out. 
circlet of light which adorned Mikla's head as he returned in divine aspect. It has begun to fade into nothingness. Lightly boosts intelligence, faith and arcane while also boosting the power of Mikla's light. This circle was to be the very foundation upon which Mikela's Age of Compassion would be built, should it have ever come to pass. I'm not sure that he would be able to build an Age of Compassion, given that he was quite ruthless, it would seem. Maybe I, maybe I get it wrong. It's alright. Yeah, I did it. Me too. So... What now? Okay. Oh. Really? I guess it's composed of bodies. But... I... Should I return somewhere? I'm lost. Let's go. You know what? Let's go back to the grace. I'm a bit lost now. I mean, like everybody we talked to. Well, there is the grandam, grandma, grandam, grandam. So we could talk to her. What did I want to increase? Mind endurance eight. Okay. One level. Right. I'll take the big shield. Let's go to the start then. Nothing here. So where am I supposed to go? Does it have an end? Maybe there is no end. I guess I could try here. This doesn't look like anything is happening here. Maybe I could go to Centrina. Right, so not here. Sentry nice here, so maybe her. Oh, there is something new. Oh, she. She die. Centrina's Blossom. Uh, okay. Lightly boost max max FP. Oh, 
right? And that's a that's a heavy gear or what? what? Yeah, it's a heavy gear. All right. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna have to figure out if I'm supposed to do something. I'll I'll be back. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I didn't figure out anything, so I guess I can go talk to Granam. That's uh, in Belrod Tower Settlement. You can see maybe she will say something. Uh, she was probably very much opposed to Mesmer, right? So maybe we could have gone here sooner. Oh, I'm fat rolling. But we'll see. Maybe she. Maybe I could also equip the hat so that she has a good time with me. Great and gallant sculptor keeper. Right. I know it in my bones. You do? Thy deed is done. It is. A worthy deed, no doubt, to bring our foes what surely was deserved recompense. Oh, oh. Heaven hath borne witness to our plight. Thy gleaming wrath. An unparalleled dance. Though a trifle it might seem to thee, I have prepared a dish in celebration. No, oh, did you? Would please me much if thou might partake. Well? Partake, partake, until thou art sated. Gourmet scorpion stew. Interesting. Scorpion simmered in a black soup, an exquisite dish chock full of mouth watering scorpion cloth. Boosts physical damage negation. Temporarily and literally restores a great amount of HP. That's. That sounds good. Oh, sculpt, I offer my thanks. It's alright. Thou danced with passing wrath and beauty, such that rightfully avenged we would be. I have never known such joy as this. Yeah, she's probably talking about the Mesmer fight, though. Sculpted keeper, oh great, wert thou by this old maid unduly pushed into facing such labors as thou didst? Not really. Has our grave resentment fettered thee? With such bounteous fury didst thou dance. I cannot presume thou didst not suffer. Please, I ask thee, allow thyself some rest. Right. None of the tower would dare interfere. And if one should, I'll see to them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if... If... Uh... Apollo, but would slap my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, yeah. It's okay. Um... Are they now the horns and are they now friendly? I guess we'll we'll have to go and see. So for that I did use this. I did use the jar arsenal or great jar arsenal. Which is where? Somewhere here. I'm just blind. Oh, I wow, I can't see it. Where is my amulet? Oh, it's over here. Sure, sure. Yeah. And last, yeah, I did use, I think, that's the one that regenerates stuff. Probably also gonna use this mask. We can go see if. They will be friendly. Hello, are you friendly? You are most certainly not friendly. Okay, he wasn't friendly. So she lied. She lied. Anyways, uh, this is it. So... 
Yeah, uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I did enjoy this uh, DLC a lot. It was like a full, full, fully fledged game, to be honest. So it was really big and really enjoyable. Also pretty difficult. I would also say that the last boss fight was, uh, in terms of difficulty, it seemed like way more difficult than the other fights. But it was okay. And I did enjoy it immensely. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, as I said, as always, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next series. Bye.